In today's fight news, Michelle Pereira will be doing a quick turnaround after this past weekend's UFC 301 event and taking on Roman Dolidze at June 8th, UFC Louisville. On July 20th, Brian Kelleher takes on Cody Gibson at UFC Vegas 94. Also at UFC Vegas 94, Haider Amil will take on Zhong Yong Li. Fresh off of his UFC 301 title attempt at flyweight, Steve Ursic put a video out saying that he wants to make a quick turnaround and compete at the UFC 305 in Perth at his home country of Australia. During a recent episode of the Good Guy Bad Guy podcast, former champ champ Daniel Cormier and lightweight champion Islam Makachev had a little playful banter in regards to Dustin Poirier, Makachev's upcoming UFC 302 opponent, and whether or not his guillotine is legit. Former light heavyweight champion Yuri Prohachka tells Lynch on Sports that he hasn't received any word yet on whether or not he will be facing champion Alex Pereira in a rematch for the title. The former champion said he will be ready though if he gets the call and he's ready to fight as soon as UFC 303 if the UFC wants it. Recently, heavyweight champion John Jones had a back and forth with fans on his ex account during which he argued his case that he's not holding up the heavyweight division by waiting for a matchup with Stipe Miocic, who is considered the GOAT of the heavyweight division. Jones states that he has put in the work as a champion of the light heavyweight division for so many years, and he's entitled to wait a little bit to heal and have Stipe for a mega fight. Bones also tells fans that he will come in heavier than he did during his title-winning fight against Cyril Gaon last March, in which he weighed 248 pounds. Former heavyweight champion Stipe Miocic says that the UFC had originally planned for him to fight John Jones for the title in July, but that was obviously postponed due to an injury to Jones. The former champion says he now expects to face Jones in November at Madison Square Garden. While speaking to MMA Junkie, top-ranked lightweight Benoit Saint-Denis had this to say about a future matchup with Armand Sarukian. I would love to face Armand Sarukian. It would be a great fight. He's obviously the number one contender, but Makachev is not the most active champion. I think a fight against Armand Sarukian would be perfect but I'm not the matchmaker of the UFC. The ongoing back and forth between bantamweight champion Sugar Sean O'Malley and number one ranked bantamweight contender Marab the Machine Devalishvili continued on X as Marab said he's going to smash O'Malley in the cage and then smash his coach Tim Welch. The champ clapped back saying, you held Henry for 15 minutes, zero smashing. Longtime UFC veteran and one champion, Demetrius Johnson, says that he only made $72,500 for being featured in the UFC games between UFC 2 and UFC 4, which includes being on the cover of the UFC 3 game. The BKFC uploaded a video of superstar Conor McGregor officially signing the paperwork to become a part owner of the operation at his Black Forge Inn pub in Dublin, Ireland. Speaking of the BKFC, newly retired UFC veteran Matt Brown says he doesn't rule out possibly returning to combat sports to fight in the BKFC. Brown says he'll come back only if the payday is right. Undisputed women's middleweight champion Clarissa Shields called for a man versus woman matchup against Ryan Garcia at 160 pounds. After Arthur Betterbeev had to withdraw from his light heavyweight unification bout with Dimitri Bivol, the WBO has ordered Joshua Buatzi and Anthony Yard for the WBO interim light heavyweight belt as Better Beef is injured and cannot defend his portion of the title. It looks like Canelo Alvarez is still holding firm on his demands of $200 million to face rising superstar David Benavidez 
Ahead of his upcoming boxing match with Hall of Famer Mike Tyson, YouTuber Jake Paul tells Sky Sports, It's an honor to be in the ring with Mike Tyson, but I have to end him. It's war. All is fair in love and war. I love the guy, but as soon as it's turned into a pro fight, one of us has to die. And lastly, heavyweight Hall of Famer Lennox Lewis says that Tyson Fury is going to beat Alexander Usyk and become the first undisputed heavyweight world champion since he did it in 1999. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the content, like and subscribe.